Ayan, good morning everyone. Let me just double check everything. Make sure wala akong mali at maririnig niyo ako nang maayos. Alright, so lalapit lang ako sa microphone para hindi masyadong ano, uh, hindi masyadong masakit sa lalamunan. Yes, yeah, today is going to be a very uh, special episode. Ayan, I'm going to be sharing to you, discussing to you my bagger bets for the last quarter of 2018. Ito yung mga mga gusto kong stocks na actually pinasukan ko na yung iba uh, the others I'm still waiting for that solid bounce talaga para pumasok but I'm gonna be sharing with you the these and these are my bagger bets um, mara, um, I did post something about this last night and then today I'm gonna be explaining them plus yung charting session natin as usual wala akong gaanong um, ire-recommend sa inyo ngayon yung bagger bets ko lang kasi they're still at a very good position and then at least ma-concentrate yung recommendations ko doon but still um you can post your request for charting and dyan pa rin yun um, servisyo publiko natin yung charting na yan so let's talk about that in a while good morning everyone good morning to my daughter Laika and it's it's a very beautiful Tuesday mainit dito sa amin ngayon so that's good yun so um first up I'm gonna be reading your comments and and your uh what they call this uh requests and erica liwag ikaw yung pinakauna yeah. good morning sir joel garis good morning sir lloyd and like thank you bull bear good day um grace rio good morning then uh emmanuel sericos good morning sir lloyd and like in size poke atn mrc and b core grab yung magsak ni atn kahapon di ba um especially si now b core i haven't seen b core's movement yet yet ba uh, but yet Uh, but yes, let's talk about that. Uh, Bruno Clown, hi. Um, Kellens, uh, asan ako? Um, Kellens Dagger, good morning. Yan nga pala guys, before I continue, please don't forget to share the videos to your walls. At i-share nyo sa Facebook nyo. Let your friends know that there are programs like this para sa stock exchange na tutulong sa kanila in their stock exchange market para ma-inspire naman yung ibang mga Pilipino na ma- pumasok sa stock market with this program. Yun yung initial goal talaga natin, yung pinaka-goal natin with the program to invite more Filipinos to invest. Um, yan yung goal ng Financial Freedom 101. Um, also, yan, um, kasi pas- pag maraming Pinoy na investors, maraming Pinoy makikinabang, um, it will inspire them to save. Um, at least, meron na silang financial awareness. Uh, at the same time, the market will be much more stable at hindi na tayo depend sa ano sa sa foreign na mga investors especially that uh, tawag nito um, uh, short selling is coming yan mas magiging stable ang market niyan so it's a very good opportunity so please share this to your walls yan lang yung request ko i hope i've earned that request in return mr cheng dmw and atn and gfc uh, dmw atn and gfc and gfc usapan natin um Hipster Tripster, good morning Sir Lloyd, or and food naman, si or and dyan naman yan, si food, yan, sabi ko sa inyo, the magic of MA20, si food, umakit na naman kahapon, good job sa mga pumasok, nung maaga pa sa MA20, you can, okay, that's why I love MA20, but let's still discuss that it for now, let's see if pwede pa bang pasukin, ayan, mausisa, good morning, ma'am, ratchet, good morning, Coach, good morning then Ratchet, uh, DMC, and Wilcon Coach, and si DMC, and Wilcon DMC, Wilcon and very good picks and um good morning uh, sana ako nawala ayun um Murphy Dagnalan good morning sir Lloyd how about OV yun si OV lagi naman yung andyan eh <laughs> right um am um, technical sa OV mag GTC lang kayo order sa baba and then GT sell sa taas para lagi kayo na- nakapila Isabel Gelasio good morning um Tata Newbie good morning po um Chibs Chibi Bay good morning Sir Lloyd okay po ba fundamentals MJC uh oy si MJC may disclosure today di ba mag 50% sila na ano 50% uh what they call this uh Tawag niyan, uh, stock dividend. So, if ever meron kang hawak na 100, dadagdagan nila ng 50%. So, all in all, after that, magiging 150 na hawak niyo. But usually, when that happens, mabagsak yung stock kasi the, uh, the supply increases. MJC has very good um, fundamentals. Uh, problema lang, it's kind of overpriced as of the moment. Yung par value niya lang actually is at around 2 pesos. So, it's it has already doubled its par value. So, medyo overpriced na siya. Tata Newbie, good morning po sir. Good morning then. Chief CB, bye. Good morning Sir Lloyd. Okay po ba fundamentals? Yun, nabasa ko na pala yun. Sorry about that. Grace Soriano, good morning. 
Um, Michael Masagka. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Watching from Dubai. Ayan, mga kapatid natin sa Dubai. It's 4 a.m. right there uh, in, at this moment. So, yun, tindi, di ba? Um, uma- ang aga gumising para makakapag-invest. Tapos later on, magtatrabaho pa yung mga yan. So, mabuhay po kayo, mga kapatid natin, mga OFWs, especially yung mga nasa Dubai. Ayan. Emmanuel Trino. Good morning, sir. Uh, yun nga pala, sulat ko yung video. BDO. Ako, ipit din ako sa BDO actually. Um, I have half holding in BDO. It's because BDO is a, an investment fund for me. Right? Whenever BDO goes down, I just wait for an opportunity to buy more. But let's talk about that in a while. Man- Emmanuel Trino, good morning sir. Food, MRC, ABBA, thanks. Ayan, si ABBA and MRC, nasa picks ko yan today. So I'm gonna be pasting my, mm, my picks dito sa comments natin. Nga pala guys, um, so na ako. Um, if you wanna help me out, meron dyang super chat, uh, dyan sa chat room natin, uh, yung dollar sign na yan, you can support me by clicking on that, um, uh, what do you call this, by clicking on the link right there. Right. Uh, yan, yung dollar sign na yan. yan, may nag-comment kasi na hindi nila makita yung ano eh, yung live. I don't know why, may nagkakaproblema ang mga tao sa live natin. Alright, let me double check. Really quick, just please give me one moment. Financial freedom, may mga nagme-message na nagka-problema sa live. Eh. Not really sure why. Alright, so let me, let's continue. Uh, asan ako? Sa chat room natin, MJC, yan si Dubai, Food MRC, yan si Food, let's talk about Food MRC, and nasa top list ko naman yan si MRC, ABBA also. Um, Argel Mendoza, good morning Sir Lloyd, BDO and OR. Thanks, yan, nakasulat na si BDO, OR is in my top picks pa rin as much as, much as possible. Uh, Shells DV, GFC, nasa lista na natin yan. Marian A, um, good morning Sir Lloyd, PLC please. Si PLC naman is a good company eh. Alright, so let's check out PLC pa rin. Alright, kamustahin natin. Elfie, oh, Ella Man- Montefalco. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning din. Aniline, AGI and CEI. Sir, thanks. Yan. AGI and CEI. Yan. AG and CEI. Alright, CEI. I had to cut my losses kay CEI kasi bumagsak pa. I was expecting a good move kay CEI. Kasi nga lang nawala yung momentum niya. So, I just cut it but let's check it out today. MHC from MSENO. Good morning. Uh, Jao Omagap. Sir, good morning. Uh, Pilipinas. Inside po kay BDO. Bicor. Andiyan naman sa lista na si Bicor. And then Nickel. Ayan. Nickel. Sorry. Wrong spelling yung Nickel ko. Right, Julian Espiritu, good morning po. Good morning then. Mona Amakna, good morning. Ayan, nawala. Mona Amakna, any thoughts po? Teka lang ha. MHC, MHC, ay saan na ako. Buma, bumaba bigla yung ano eh. Bumaba bigla yung chat room eh. So, yun. Hindi ko na na ano. Hindi ko na na nabasa lahat. Asa na ako? Julian, Mona Amaka. Yun. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Like I always watching here. Even late for work. Late na for work. Alright. Good morning, Mona Amakna. Thank you for greeting me and Laika. Um, MBT Globe naman from Grace Soriano. Ayan. Very good question. Globe. One of the good companies out there. Ryan Velasco. Good morning, Sir. Grabe bagsak ni Ma. Ayan. Let's talk about Ma. Yan yung problema natin. Eh. M-A-H. We were betting on the support. Somehow, hindi naman siya umakyat talaga. So, Ryan Velasco, let's talk about that. Vong Flores, good morning po, Sir Lloyd. Ask ko lang po si ECP. Thank you. And si ECP, madedelay na naman ang telco, guys. Kaya nagbabagsakan kang karamihan ng mga telco yesterday. Um, yon <laughs> Kasi, ano, um, may delays na naman sa few, uh, adjustments sa TOR. Ang daming delays. Ayan, mausisa. Insights po kay Tugs, Coach Lloyd. Thanks. Ang nga pala, let's talk about the telco yesterday. Um, President Duterte has a ve- had a very strong uh, message yesterday about the telco. Sabi niya, if ever by no- November, wala pa yung third telco na yan, he will be taking over. Um, ang magde-decide is ang President Office na about the telco. So, yeah, let's talk about that. Um, what will happen? What will happen if 
it is President Duterte who will pick. Most probably si PTNT na yan. Um, Malacanang has already been studying PTNT long before. Um, they were already very vocal even from the start of this third telco hype uh, at the very beginning they were really vocal about PTNT because they were al- they already have the ano they already have studied PTNT so if ever president Duterte decides um this is not accurate ha uh, this is just my own pos- um opinion so i guess there will be uh, a bias on PTNT already cuz president Duterte already knows about PTNT and PTNT has been um what they call this uh uh what they call it supportive with the vi- uh, with many projects sa government eh. so yun um so most probably PTNT will be the one we will uh he will be picking and with that thought in mind kaya nasa anjan pa rin si MRC sa top picks ko today um by on depth pa rin tayo kay MRC guys um yan yung isa sa mga future baggers ko um kasi if ever PTNT won't be able to come in ang scenario is PTA the uh, MRC will most probably be the back door diyan sila kukuha ng funds also um what they call that uh what they call this uh and if ever makakabalik man ng PTNT don't expect na makakuha kayo ng stocks ka agad right kasi most probably people will be holding that and if makakabili man kayo napakamahal na niyan so where will people get in instead kay MRC mahihila yan si MRC dahil kay PTNT so that will that is the possible scenario that's why i'm i'm putting MRC sa bagger stocks ko but this is a gambling stock right um andiyan si MRC sa list ko talaga but this is a gambling stock so don't put all your funds in it Wag kayong mag all in dyan. Please don't do that. Never do that, especially in a very speculative stock. Right? So, yan. Um, uh, let's talk about yung question na yun ni, ano, ayon mo si sa insight kay Tugs, Sir Lloyd, ang laki ng bagsak ni Tugs yesterday. Uh. Um, Tugs, right? Insights kay Tugs. Let's talk about that. Uni, Unani, good morning. MPI po and Seb. Let's talk about MPI and Seb. Um, Mona Magna any thoughts on MRC sir let's ah uh, yan kakas- kakasabi ko lang sa thoughts ko kay MRC Mona yan so MRC buy on dips as much as you can pag bumabagsak yan just buy more right pero wag nga mag all in yun lang um, Ron Villanueva good morning po sir Lloyd PNB ACR TBGI and Wilcon salamat po let's ro- write these down um, Ron uh, Villanueva yan um Giovan Zar, good morning. Mon F, morning sir. If I have to choose one lang, will it be MRC or ISM? All right. Um, this is a good question. Right? Um, this is from Mon F. Um, morning sir. I have to choose one. If I have to choose one lang, will it be MRC or ISM? All right. Um, about this, if you want to be betting on on third the third telco, maraming perspective. Eh. If you wanna bet on the third telco. Go for MRC. Si ISM naman, kahit hindi maging third telco yan, or uh, kahit hindi maging third telco yan, fourth telco is still okay. Even if they're gonna start their own telephone company, there's it's gonna be okay. Nakita nyo si Sun dati, it was very disruptive. Kahit wala pang third telco noon, it caused the prices to go down and lumakas si Sun, di ba? It's, it's gonna be like that. ISM is gonna be helping the, the, the ano, if ever they start their own telco then, it's gonna be helping the, the what do you call this? overall uh, uh, telco industry the industry right so for me must safer bet si ISM right honestly i tell you must safer bet si ISM kung bumabagsak man yan it's a shake off uh yun yun para sa mga impatient na hindi mar- um, yung instant gratification ng gusto right um ang ISM kasi fundam i I look at the fundamentals of ISM, right? That's why I'm recommending ISM. Don't look at the technicals. Look at the fundamentals. I am, uh, I will, I am recommending this as an investor, guys. The numbers nyan pangit, yes, as of the moment. But once the cash comes in, yung mga invest na mga investors, especially Dennis Uy, because they have plans in ISM. Um, nakakuha sila ng Singapore na investor who bought 30% of the, ano, of the, of the company. So that's something. Whenever it's the investors who are getting in the company, that's big, right? So once the cash comes in, makikita nyo, lalaki bigla yung numbers ni ISM. That will enable them to do future projects. Pwede nga sa maging third telco, eh, diba? That's just a bonus. But even if they don't become the third telco, <coughs> just becoming another formidable telco here in the Philippines will be very big for them. Kasi napaka-bata pa ng telco industry natin sa Philippines. So that's... Uh, that's good. 
Right? So, I am betting more on ISM. Mas sure si ISM. Because investors are getting in them. That's my, my, my main reason in getting into ISM. That's why ISM is in my um, bagger bets. Right? Because of that. Right? It's something when good investors get in a company. Right? So, follow them. And then, just cut loss if you have to. Diba? So, yun. Um, stay light lang. And then, wag muna kayong papasok ng malaki pag sideways pa siya. The trend is your friend. Only add more uh, only add more if na confirm na yung uptrend niya. Ganyan yung technique diyan lagi. If you are that's the challenge with um, bottom fishing. If you notice my ano, if you notice my daily picks, nasa mga supports 'yan. Kasi um ang mali ko diyan is iba-iba ka, uh, I forgot that we have different strategies. Right? The strategy that I am teaching my students is never go all in on a support. Right? Pag nakita niyo nagsusuport yung stock na yun or kaka reverse lang Never go all in, right? Um, mag test buy lang kayo. Yun yung sinasabi ko lagi dito is test buy. And then, just add more. The trend is your friend. So, mamaya mo na maging best friend yung stock na yan. Pag uptrend na yan. Pag sideways pa yan or kakabounce na, hindi mo pa best friend yan. Right? So, just test buy. And then, pag nag uptrend na, confirm na yung uptrend, that's when you add position into it. Because the trend is your friend nga. Pag uptrend ng stock, dyan ka na mag-add ng fund. So, yeah. Um, yun, yung, uh, yun yung problema. Um, right now, I am fixing my picks. If nakita niyo yung picks, I am shortening it para at least mas lesser yung uh, I just realized na ang laki na ng audience natin. Er nga pala guys, um, please share the video. Um, we have 30, 342 watching today, right? Good morning sa lahat. Sa lahat. Right? Um, I'm shortening my picks para makoncentrate natin yung picks ko. At least mas maliit yung, uh, mas maliit yung um, margin of error. And then, mas unified yung strategy. Yes, guys, yung mga picks ko na yan, karamihan dyan, buy and dips. And then, if you buy, the first time na buy, hindi pa uptrend yung mga yan. Pag nag-buy kayo, just test buy. Huwag kayo mag all in. If, for example, you have a budget of 100,000 to get in this stock, put in, divide that into three, if you can. If you're an, uh, if you're just a newbie, kakasimula mo pa lang. If, divide that into three as much as possible. If the better that you are, the better you are, the bet, the bigger you can put at the start. Pwede mo i-divide by two, by 50k and lalagay mo, mag-add more ka lang pag, if ever, ano, if ever mag-uptrend na. That is one of my important lessons sa, sa workshops ko. Right? Those strategies, yung execution ng mga yan. And there's so much more. So if you want to learn more about my strategy, Right. Hindi ko gawa ito. I mean, these are not my strategies, but these are the strategies that I use. Right. Hindi ako may gawa ng mga strategy ko. Yan, yan yung kina, kinagagalit ng iba. Bakit ako nagpababayad sa workshop ko. Right. Um, uh, anyways, um, aside from that, uh, yes, the workshop, yan yung isa sa mga tinuturo ko. I, exp- I will explain to you the advantages of this kind of strategy mas ma- marami pang advantage yung strategy na yan and other strategies that I have if you want to join the workshop I have a workshop this Friday and Saturday 8pm just send me a message kung gusto nyo sumali right? um, so I can send you the details hindi po free yan but it's cheap it's not expensive unlike uh, hindi ko na kailangan i-compare alam nyo naman yan eh. uh, it's a win-win price it's a good investment for you and it helps the channel in return so if you wanna help the channel by earning uh, on your side also earn the knowledge that I am I am sharing and it will also help the program in return so that will that's a win-win situation for us so yes you can help the channel by helping yourself anyways yeah, please share the video uh yun yung kay ISM. You know, to answer Mon, I am betting more on ISM. It's because of the fundamentals and the investors are getting in. Addison C., good morning, Sir Lloyd. Bakit po walang stop loss order sa PSE? Uh, ang PSE, explanation ni PSE dati, bakit wala yan? Because um, napakaliit lang ng ano natin. Napakaliit lang ng volume ng PSE. Right? Um, if ever kasi may stop loss lahat, magka-crash ang isang stock right um, rem- imagine um, for example nasa support ang isang stock at umaakyat umaakyat papasok ang lahat where do they uh, where do they place their stop loss nasa negative mga 3 to 4% below support usually yun yung cut loss eh imagine if lahat ng tao may stop loss doon magka-crash yung stock magbebenta lahat right so kaya walang wala pang wala pang stop loss sa PSE kasi napakabliit pa ng volume natin right <laughs> hindi pa kaya ng hindi pa kaya ng system ng PSE ang stop loss na yan. hopefully soon if malaki na ang mga companies natin tulad sa sa market na by trillions na ang mga uh, ang mga ano nila Alibaba 
Apple, di ba? So, kahit mag-stop loss ang, iba, ang karamihan dyan, hindi magka-crash yung market. Right? It's kasi sobrang laki ng volume. At sa atin dito, <laughs> lit, uh, lit lang ng volume. Very small volume. Uh, that's why uh, stop loss order is not allowed. Kasi magsasabay, magbebenta lahat ng mga yan and magka-crash bigla yung stock. Right, Joanna Tanael. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Tags IDC and VLL. Right, let's talk about IDC and VLL in a while. Sulat ko lang ang mga yan kasi wala pa sa lista. IDC and VLL. Right, very good. Um, Jonax Dantes. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. MPI po. Ayan, nasulat na natin yan. Dan, Jeremy de Guzman. Hi, Sir Lloyd. Good morning, WPI and MBT. WPI... MBT, yan, nasulat na natin si MBT. So, let's talk about that in a while. Erika Liwag, PXP, sir, I entered when I, it was 1580. And 1580, diba? Pag-usapan natin yan, PXP at 15.8. Yan, so. Yan, STV naman. STV Trader, what happened to our stock market now? And B Core, STI, thanks. What happened to our stock market? Bumabagsak, bumabagsak pa rin. That's because of and um the drama in the company i mean the company in the country is grabe right the trillian story and the destabilization fears yan may, may rumor nga na mag mag uh, ano mag possible kahapon na mag declare ng martial law si president duterte and that's very bad for the con- com- uh, the country right these kinds of drama right that's why i hate these dramas that's very bad for the companies because it scares off investors and you know that the stock market is very dependent sa sa mga foreign investors na mga yan. So, if ever matatakos, uy, magma-martial law. Whenever martial law happens, magka-crash yung market. Na, naalala yung nangyari kay, ano, nung Marcos regime, nung nag, ano, nag, nag, nag-martial law. The crash, the market, the stock market crashed. Right? So, if ever, ang problema pa natin ngayon, wala tayong short selling. So, if ever may short selling tayo at mag-martial law, okay lang, mag-short sell ako sa mga stock, kikita ako, di ba? But then again, yeah, uh, yun yung problema. If mag, uh, mag, uh, mag-declare ng martial law, if there are destabilization rumors like these, babagsak yung stock market. And these are propagandas, right? Um, ang problema kasi ngayon is, I'm not against President Duterte or I'm not, uh, I'm st- uh, I'm not with President Duterte. I'm a neutral kind of person. As much as possible, I want to support the company as much as I, I mean the country as much as I can. Ang problema kasi sa mga destabilization na yan, yun yung ginagawa ng mga opposition to, so that the market will go down, the econo- economy will go down, and people will hate the government because of that. But that's the bad side of it. Kaya nila, kaya gumagawa sila, gumagawa ng drama so that the economy will go down. Ito naman si President Duterte, um, he's doing his best, in fairness to him, he's doing his best to get more investors. Um, kakagaling niya lang sa Israel and he got more investors, di ba? So, yun. Um, that's the situation right now if you're asking what happened to our market. That's what's happening. The more drama the opposition makes, the lower the market becomes, uh, the lower the market goes, and people will start blaming the government. Even the investors will hate the government and babagsak babagsak yan. Kaya yun yung ginagawa. Destabilization nga eh, di ba? So that's what's happening. So I hope that stops lang talaga. Erika Liwag, PXP, sir. I entered when I was at 15.80. Yan ang pag-usapan natin. Uh, isusulat ko yan. Ellie Flores, good morning. EW and ANI, please. Let's write that down. EW and ANI, please. Ayan. Um... Uh, Ao Phantom Vlogging Good morning Sir Lloyd Hoping for red days to go away I am too But if as long as wala pa yung uh, Hindi pa nawawala ang red days Stay light on your feet Let's talk about that Anong gagawin natin kay PSEI pa rin Right? Uh, in a while um, It's 8.41 Let's officially start our discussion now Yan. Um, before we start, we want to thank our sponsor. One of, one of our sponsors is Two Trade Asia. If you're looking for a com- uh, a broker that is fast, reliable, and most especially if you're on the go kind of person, Two Trade Asia will trade you anywhere, anytime, right? If you need to sell while you're outside, because nag nag um, nag alarm na yung phone niyo. Two Trade Asia has an alarm. Kung kailan yun na mag-cut loss, 
you can trade even if you're outside. Even if nasa CR kayo, kaya nyo mag-trade. Hindi kayo dedicate sa computer. Right? So, check out 2TradeAsia, 2TradeAsia.com. Also, eToro. Guys, I am starting to trade in eToro now and it's beautiful. Right? Um, so, check out eToro. You can help me by using my link. Create an eToro account using my link. It's down there at the video description. If you haven't joined the Discord group yet, this is a very... Pasensya na kayo. Um, I still have to plug this for especially for the newbies. This program is best for newbies nga eh, diba? So, I'm gonna share my screen. This is our um, this is our chat room right here. Andito sila Marojas. <laughs> Yan, uh, shout out to those who are very uh, who are very active so, uh, sa, sa sa chat room natin. But this is our chat room. If you haven't joined the chat room yet, if you're a newbie, download Discord. This app is called Discord. You can use this in the phone, on your mobile phone or on the PC, download Discord. And then, on the description, meron kayo makikita dyan na Discord group. Um, just search for that link and then you will be able to get in the uh, chat room automatically. And then, ang kaganda ng chat room is this is a, com a community that will help you in your trading during trading. And nag nagsishare ng mga ano dyan. Nagsishare ng mga, uh, mga ideas dyan. Ang daming ideas dito sinishare. Like, um, we were talking earlier about ABGs, MJC. Andyan. Andyan yung mga ano. Andyan yung mga uh, uh, discussions. It's a very healthy company. Walang... Hypers, right? I, we make sure that walang hypers dyan. And meron maraming books dito. You can find so many books here. If you need books right there. Charting discussions every night. Nag-charting discussions sa mga tao whenever someone requests. The good traders here share their knowledge. So if you're a newbie, this is a very good community for you. Um, meron tayo dito. This is one of the important um, features of the chat room for traders PSD daily updates this is automatically updated whenever disclosure comes out so while you're trading and chatting with other people yeah, look like this one MPI this just came out this has come out this comes out automatically 8.23 AM lumabas ito MPI uh, meron silang disclosure and you're gonna see it there Right, so this is this is very important sa inyo. Right, meron dito mga basic discussions sa mga TAs. If you have any questions, you can put your chat there. So yeah, Discord, join the Discord group. Uh, go to uh, download Discord and go to that link on the video description. Right, so let's start. Um, first up, yung um the title of the uh program today sa daily, daily grind is my bagger bets for the last quarter of 2018 papasok na tayo sa ano eh sa last quarter actually september october november december yan sa last nasa last quarter na tayo we are q4 already and these are my bagger bets hindi pa sila bagger talaga um but my bagger bets um kasi just to clarify may nagtatanong sa akin sir lloyd bakit wala diyan si atn sa top picks mo for baggers um because ATN was my bagger for third quarter. Third quarter ba yun? Yeah, I think it was on third quarter. Yeah, I did recommend ATN strongly at 0.65 pa. Uh, I was able to get in there already. So, naging bagger na. Tapos na ako mag-bag niyan. So, hindi ko na in-include siya. Um, it's for investment purposes na si ATN ngayon. Hindi na siya yung malakas talagang um, kumita. Right? Those are the baggers that we're talking about. So, these are my bagger bets for the last next quarter. All right, number one is CPG. Alright, I'm gonna be explaining to you guys back it, right? Um, number one, CPG. Uh, let me just ready my notes. Ah, sumasakit ang puso ko. <laughs> I have a heart condition kasi guys, eh. So, yeah. Whenever I'm stressed, sumasakit ang isip, ah, puso ko. <laughs> Hugot ba? Alright, anyway, CPG, good mo, um, uh, yan. It's buy on the dips. Actually, yung presyo niyan, 440 is still at the dip price right ouch yan um so sumasakit right um sorry it's this the pain is disturbing anyways kaya pa naman uh yan uh this right here and so um we're at still we're still at dip levels um future ni CPG is very very ano uh, it's very bright why um they have a big scale resort project in San Vicente um, Palawan. You can search more about that. And it was disclosed last 2016. Um, kaso nga lang, medyo may delays. Um, they all, they set aside 20 billion. 20 billion project yan. To develop yan yung, it's a 56 hectare uh, 
integrated resort project and then for the next 10 years 10 years na ginagawa yan and that was just uh, that was disclosed this 20 uh, 2016 right so na, ang laki ng project na yan right um right now CPG is trading below its par value um so its fair value is it's still very cheap compared to its fair value yung fair value niya is at around 0.53 Alright, so checking that out, that is our target price range. So from here to 0.53, that is 20%. Uh, 20% of gains. Basing on its fair value lang. <clears throat> Hindi pa natin <clears throat> kinoconsider yung future projects niya. Right, so that's very big for CPG. And you saw the um, you saw the disclosures. Uh, tulad nito, um, Century Properties Incorporated and enters 1 billion deal with the, with a tech company. Um, these are one of the latest, um, ano tawag nito, mga disclosures niya. That was sept last September 8th, right? So, that's a 1 mil billion dollar deal kay CPG. So, that's big, right? Ang ganda, kung maganda ang, uh, gumaganda ang uh, fundamentals ng stock na ito. Investors are starting to get in CPG already, right? So, CPG... Bag this na kayo. Magbodega na kayo dyan. MRC, I talked about MRC already earlier. What will happen to PTNT or the scenarios if PTNT will be picked on, uh, uh, will be picked as the third telco or if kahit hindi sila maging third telco, um, magiging telco, mag magiging strong telco naman yan si PTNT. Anyways, um, yeah, um, this stock is on an uptrend, guys. It's on a slow uptrend but it is going on an uptrend. Right? So, Right, right now it's at 0.66 murang mura pa yan a third uh, a telco company can nakita niya naman si Globe and Smart di ba um, they can reach thousands if not ayun thousands di ba to to 2000 si Globe ngayon di ba so yeah those are the potential na pwede niya maabot in the coming years right so MRC and this is speculative nga lang ko tingnan lang sa MRC but yeah I'm betting on uh, MRC then ISM I I explained ISM already these are the dips already for ISM. Kung magbebentahan man yung mga tao, that's okay. You just buy it, right? Um, wag yung instant gratification na iniisip nyo. Ang problema kasi sa mga newbies is, once they get in a stock, they get impatient and they want to win right away. That uh, Stock market's not like that. You position yourself there. If, not, if it's not yet time to cut your losses, don't, don't cut your losses yet, right? Um, also, look at the fundamentals that's looking forward, right? fundamentals of this company is getting better and maraming investor ang pumapasok kay ISM. That's why I am uh, recommending ISM. That's one of my future baggers. PHA. And PHA, um, fundamentals of the company is getting better. And PHA bought, uh, what do you call this? Meron silang binili na mga uh, mining company sa Palawan. Right, so those do, there are two companies there, and it's limestone companies. And I have an insider that says that kukunin kukuha sila ng malaking uh, supply for limestone on companies in Palawan, and these are one of the uh, these are the co two companies in Palawan na targeted. So nothing official, but yeah, while it's very cheap, the developments on PHA are very good. Um, na, um, yung second quarter niya negative nga lang, but don't worry about that, right? Kasi yung future projects ng PHA ang dami, ang gaganda, right? So PHA, that's a good sa uh, that's that's a good entry, right? Right now it's at MA20, napakaganda ng position niyan. Na Pag nagbounce niyan, that's your entry point for PHA. That's one of my bagger bets for the third quarter. I mean the fourth quarter. Next up is ore. Hindi pa talaga gumagalaw si ore, but slowly but surely ore is starting to go up already, right? Guys, don't underestimate this movement. Right? That's an uptrend right there. The stock is on an uptrend. So, pwede nyo pasukin yan. And or has very good projects um, in the future and their current projects right now. Ang ganda ng mga projects ni or. So, yeah. Definitely or is one of the bagger bets right now. Um, Next up is ABBA. Si ABBA naman. Yan. Look at the price action packet na naman si ABBA. I'm still betting on ABBA. Napakamura pa ng presyo na ito. This companies fundamentals are getting better and better ang laki ng retained earnings nila for the second quarter compared to last year um if you can see the numbers right here your their overall income increase compared to last year is plus 2340% that's amazing and and their retained earn, retained earnings went high further 
above the second quarter last year because of this. Right? Ang ganda ng um you can see the uh eto guys uh, if you want to look at the um the fundamentals of a company especially in the income part the the revenue part nila. Check out retained earnings. Isa yun sa mga importanteng tinitignan ninyo. If the retained earnings are getting are increasing, that means that company is getting more money and mas marami silang kinikita na pwede lang magamit for future projects or bibigyan nila as dividends depende na sa kanila. Right? But definitely, these numbers are getting up, are going higher. The fundamentals of that company is getting higher. And that's why ABG has been growing after that or uh, after this uh, number right here. Tingnan nyo ang taas ni, ni, uh, ni ABBA and it's not yet finished. Ang ganda talaga ng numbers. Ang laki ng numbers ni ABBA. So yeah, definitely ABBA is still a buy for me. Um, it's consolidating right now, nearing ME20. Just buy on dips. And this is the support right here. Pag bumagsak man yan, just go long term kay ABBA. Maganda yan si ABBA. Um, next up is RLT. And dinagdag ko lang ito si RLT today. Uh, kasi ang ganda ng position ni RLT. Fundamentals are definitely getting better kay RLT. And look at this support right here. It's at support area. Kukuha lang ako lang linya, guys. Ha? It's at support area. Right here. So, once, twice, ilang bottom yan? 1, 2, 3, 4. Quadruple bottom. <laughs> right? Apat na beses na bottom yung, yung area niyan. So, that's a very solid support for RLT. Right? So, I will bet on this support because napaka solid ang support na yan. And look at that, right? Now, ang RSI niya, it just smacked down IS RSI and nagsistart na siyang umakyat. So, it's still very cheap as of the moment. The, num the numbers of RLT are getting better. Second quarter, 218%. First quarter, plus 124%. Um, last year, uh, annual report nila is plus 3229%. These are very solid numbers by RLT. The price is still very cheap. So that's why I am recommending RLT strongly today. Napakalit ng risk and the um, the fundamentals are very good for the company. So RLT, um, that's an, one of my top recommendations for this quarter. And then lastly, si ABG naman. Um, susulat ko lang sa si ABG. Uh, it's, uh, we're waiting for the bounce kay ABG because ABG just released very good news. Uh, si Okada, one of the best resorts right now in Manila, is, what do you call this? Is um, gonna be using ABG as their backdoor to fund their, ano, to fund their business here. So yeah, that's a very good, uh, that's a very good, what do you call this? That's a very good news for ABG. So once ABG resumes, just wait for the bounce before kay pumasok. The best entry is here at MA20. Right, so dyan yung best entry natin. If ever bumagsak man yan, then that's good. But pwede nyo i-intraday to. Pag nag-resume yan, most probably it's gonna go up. Kasi nagkabintahan na eh. Tapos na yung bintahan eh. So that's a very big news for ABG. Sayang, hindi natin alam yun. Most probably yung mga tao na pumasok dito with the technicals and the movements most probably alam nila nila yon sayang wala tayong insider kay ABG but anyways it's okay uh, we just uh, we'll just base it on the news but yeah ABG is something to wait uh, wait for the bounce yan yung picks ko for this last quarter of 2012 so yan yung bets ko for um, bagger so i'm going to go now to your Request na i-chart natin. Alright, uh, before that, reminders guys, if you want to join my workshop, it will, yeah, the workshop, it will greatly help you. I tell you, it, it will greatly help you in your trading, uh, in uh, in your trading. Uh, don't take my word for it. You can check out the uh, comments na mga students ko, their testimonials, and dun sa Facebook page ko, and just go to the ratings, and dun yung rating nila, and andun yung testimonial nila about the workshop, how it has improved their trading. I'm not the type of person na nagpapabayad for recommendations. Uh, I am a believer of uh, teaching you how to fish, and I won't give you fishes. Right? I know people are earning, nothing against them, they're earning by giving out these positions to you, but I'm not that kind of person. Ang gusto kong gawin is really to teach you how to fish. So that's the work. That's the workshop na meron ako. Alright. Anyways, let's continue. Um, send me a message if you wanna join the workshop Friday and Saturday, 8 p.m. October 20. I'll be there in Manila. Um, also um 
October in Bacolod, not yet final on dates and venue. So, maybe the, most probably this week mag-release -re -re ako. I think it's gonna be a small group lang, 20 to 30 people lang ang gagawin ko. Kasi hindi ko, hindi ko napagplanuhan ng maayos. But still, um, I'm gonna be shouting out about it. So, Bacolod, those who wanna join the workshop, uh, send me a message lang para makapag-reserve na kayo. Right. Anyways, uh, now, let's start. ATN. Um, people were asking about ATN. Ano pwede natin gawin kay ATN? Guys, ATN, it's uh, starting to crash down. So, we have this support right here. Uh, dapat mag-cut loss tayo dito if ever it goes further down this support right here. It's, it didn't trigger the lower Bollinger Band talaga. So, it hasn't really crashed the support yet. So, as of the moment, okay pa naman siya. Um, Kondi ingat lang if you're in this position. Dapat yung mga pumasok, nag-sell na sa taas, and then cut loss at your purchase price. So, kung na-hit na yung, yung mga previous na nakapasok na, dapat nakapag-cut loss na kayo on your purchase price. At least, gain kayo dito. Let's just wait for our next, ano, let, let's just wait for our next entry. If ever this bounces, pwede natin pasukin yan. Hindi ko na ma-zoom eh. Right, so that's the zoomest I can do. 131, alright. So, it's at 1.31 right now. If ever mag green yan, that is confirming the support right here. So, that will be our initial stabilization point. I really want this to stabilize more. The Bollinger Band is showing us that it's starting to get stable. Let's see what will happen. We need more data really to know what will happen to ATN. But then again, ATN is something for long term. Ang layo pa na mararating ni ATN guys, I tell you. So, um, look to be an investor kay ATN. If ever, gusto nyo pumasok, just wait for the confirmation. If it goes down, you just add more kay ATN. This is a very good company. Pag lumabas na yung real numbers ni ATN, marami nang papasok dyan talaga kay ATN. Next up is, yan, Gerald de Guzman, thank you for subscribing. Isang zombie para sa'yo. If you, have, you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe on uh, to my channel. Click that bell button para ma-notify kayo when a live is already up. Alright, um, asa na ako? Uh, next up is MRC. Time check, it's 8.59. Ayun, maaga pa. Alright, um, MRC. We talked about MRC already. And Bicor, yan si Bicor. Ang kulungan ni Bicor. It, it broke its support. It, I did recommend Bicor. Eh, thank you so much. Lady Lynn Pia for subscribing. And I did recommend Bicor here because it when it formed the support right here, that was a good sign. Somehow it failed plus then market is was negative. Kaya bumabagsak si Bicor. Yun. Um, now it broke its support. Dapat nakapag-cut loss na tayo dito. Huwag kayong papasok dyan, please. Right? Um, my positions, those recommendations that I give, hindi yan 100% na assurance. At do, and those are basically uh, based on technical analysis. And you know technical analysis is not 100%. Hindi foolproof ang technical analysis. So whenever it breaks support, you should have your cut losses if you're trading. Kasi trading yung mga rinerecommend ko. Hindi yan for investing for long term. So now, ngayon, bumabagsak pa siya. So let's stay away for it from that for now, kay B Core. But definitely, B Core has been showing us good numbers. Kaso nga lang, nagkakatakutan dahil sa mga ipit dito. Yun, kaya nag, nagkakabintahan kay B Core. But, I am waiting for B Core to be, to stabilize really and make a reversal before I wanna get in B Core. Ang ganda ng B Core. And they have good, uh, they have good news lately. May binili sila na malaking company sa Malaysia. It was actually 7-Eleven. It's not, really that big but still significant uh, purchase for B for B Core. So that's very good for B Core. Antay lang na muna tayo. Press action, wala pa. So stay away from B Core for now. Um, DMW. Ayan. Albert Pangilinan. Pangiligan. Ayan. Thank you for subscribing. One zombie for you then. Uh, DMW, after this engulfing pattern right here, it is red yesterday so we're waiting for it to stabilize. After this, usually stabilization na mangyayari. Um, let's wait for the consolidation. If it holds this support, then that's our entry point for DMW. So, antay natin si DMW. Uh, most probably, this is gonna be bouncing. Because look at this right here. Um, I don't know if you can see this properly. Medyo magulo tignan eh. But yeah, this is the support. Right? The prices are right here. Here and here. So, pababa, uh, sideways yung price. And then... RSI, one of my favorite patterns. RSI dito sa baba is paakyat. Right? So, paakyat yung RSI. I just wanna make this bigger para makita nyo na paakyat talaga siya. So, paakyat yung RSI. 
and then sideways and support. So this is what we call a um what do you call this an RSI choo choo. <laughs> Dami. Hindi ko let di ko memorize to mga to eh, but I just know the patterns by heart. Exaggerated divergence yan. Sideways ang support and it's going bouncing. So antay lang natin yung bounce and the RSI support is going up. Right? So, this is what's happening. Sideways and support ng price, the RSI is going up. So, that's a bullish pattern right there. And bullish yan. Bullish ito. So, exaggerated divergence. Bullish divergence. <coughs> and it's an exaggerated one. So, yeah, that's a bullish pattern right there. So, DMW, wait for the bounce and that will be your entry point. Maganda pasokin si DMW. That's a very good company to get into. And napakamura niyan. Um, eight, at 873 compared to its original price. Chubibo TV, thank you for subscribing. And let's continue with your picks. I'm just gonna lower this RSI that further down. And next up, okay, um, B Core DMW is JFC and si Jollibee, paborito ng mga Pinoy. Alright, JFC, <clears throat> and it broke MA20, so nagsa sideways siya. So somehow it's consolidating at 276 pesos. Hopefully, this will hold, but right now, um, di pa natin alam. Let's see. Kulang pa tayo ng details. Ito yung sinasabi natin, if it breaks the MA20, usually nag-change ng direction. So, tapos na yung uptrend, na short uptrend ni GFC. Let's see if this will start a new trend. Mag I think magsa sideways na ito. GFC has very good uh, movements overseas and meron silang mga, ina may meron mga bagong acquisition sa Jollibee. So, that should propel this up. Kaso nga lang yung market is red. Kaya pumupula pa rin si Jollibee. But overall, Jollibee is increasing its value, real value. Yeah. So, JFC is still okay for me. Just right now, wala pa tayong enough details. Let's see if there's a bounce right here. Pag nag-bounce sa JFC, then that is a support again right there. So, antayin natin yung bounce sa JFC. Let's see. Food naman. Ayan. Very good MA20 bounce. Diba? We talked about food dito pa lang. I recommended food here kasi napakalamit lapit sa MA20. This is why I love MA20 and umakit siya retest and umakyat na naman. So, good job sa mga pumasok kay food. Right now, food is nearing its uh, sideways resistance already. So, konting ingat lang. I don't, wanna, I don't want you to chase food already. Meron siyang strong resistance yesterday when it hit this area right here. So, I don't want you to chase food. Just wait for the retracement again kay food. But I guess, okay na tong akyat ni food. I've been recommending food dito. Uh, Nag-recommend na naman tayo kay food. Uh, saan ba yun? Dito and dito. Yeah, this is the second time I recommended food. The third time I recommended food was that the MA20. Then again, umakyat na. That's a missed opportunity. So, konting ingat lang kay food. Huwag niyong hahabulin niyan. Tyke, Trinidad, thank you for subscribing. One zombie for you too. Ayan. Next up is Wilcon. No, DMC. Ayan. DMC is a con pretty consistent company. So, DMC right now is okay pa rin naman. Still holding on to its uptrend right here. And we have a higher low naman dito eh. So, DMC is still good for me. Actually, for me, yes. Look at the numbers of DMC. Plus 28% second quarter. Uh, plus 11%. Uh, this is a very consistent company. Uh, so right now, you can ride the trend of DMC. Just wait for the bounce. Kasi nga lang, konti ingat dito. We have a lower high right here. So baka mag-break yung, uh, mag yung MA20 niya and makes a sideways movement. Uh, not enough details right now for DMC. So hold lang muna tayo. Uh, stay away lang muna. Let's see if we can uh, if we can see a bounce. Then that's a confirmation of a higher low right here in this area. This uh, short term position niya. Baka mag higher low. So let's see. We don't have enough details as of the moment. Um, but overall, the DMC's fundamentals is okay. Right? Fundamentals wise, DMC is good. Trading wise, medyo tricky yung position niya ngayon. Because we, we are seeing lower highs. So, let's wait for the market to recover and let's see if pwede na natin pasukin yan sa DMC. Um, next up is Wilcon. Yan, si Wilcon. Ang daming nag-hype kay Wilcon yesterday kasi may solid bounce tayo kay Wilcon. Yes, this is good but um, as of the moment, uh, this is shaky pa. Because this is a very sharp downturn kay uh, Wilcon. Usually, ang nangyayari pag ganitong reversal, this is an engulfing pattern for me kasi pantay siya eh. Diba? So, um, usually, when this happens, this stabilizes before going shooting up really. So, 
let's wait for the stabilization and then we see if we see a consolidation a support right here at least may base na tayo and that's our entry point so konti ingat lang muna Dev Dennis Villier just subscribe thank you one zombie for you and so hindi pa nakapag subscribe please subscribe to my channel yeah next up is OV eto tuturuan ko kayo ng technique kay OV yeah. Same strategy that I have with OPM. Hindi ako kay OB naglalaro. I am playing with OPM. Right? Dito ako nagka-cash cow. One of my cash cow is OPM. Right? Ang ginagawa ko is, I set a GTC as much as I can at 0.110. Right? Dito nga lang, tumataas na yung support niya is 0.0120. So, you set an order at 0.0120. Right? Para kung makapasok man kayo, I tell you, ang hirap pumasok dito kay GTC nyo yan. It can take 3 to 4 days before kayo makapasok kay OPM. Right? Even weeks, minsan. So, if hindi kayo nakapasok, just wait for your, uh, just be patient. Send at GTC here. Pag nakapasok kayo, GTC ulit selling at 0.140 or 130 if you want. Kasi, isang galaw na yan, that's already 8% gains. So, ganyan ka, dali kumita kay OPM. Tsaka kay OV. Same with OV. Mag-GTC lang kayo na order at 110. And then GTC sell if you want to be greedy at 130. But if you want instant cash, GTC sell it at 120. Ganun lang. So that's instant money for you. It's 8% already instantly. Pero it can, it can, it can take days. Kaya mag-GTC lang kayo. Pumila kayo. That's the technique for OV, OPM. Same with OPMB. Um, BDO. Yan. Si BDO naman... So right now, kapon pula si BDO, but yeah, look at the price action. Meron na tayong na form na support dito, so this is good right here. But still, we're not yet out of the woods. Kaya may support yan wala tayong confirmation. Let's see if we can get an engulfing pattern today. Pag naging engulfing yan, that's a very good sign. That's a confirmation of a possible reversal. So pwede natin i-catch knives yan. So BDO is okay. Uh, antay lang natin yung confirmation as much as possible Ryan Milalios, good morning Thank you for subscribing Isang zombie din para sa'yo Next up sa is PLC Yan, Si PLC did a retracement This was expected after a very solid move on the first day But yeah, where do we wait for this at MA20? Let's wait for the bounce lang muna kay PLC before we wanna get in uh, Definitely PLC is a good company to get into Lalo na pag na, lalo na na magko-close na si MRP, hindi naman magko-close, magde-delist lang. So si PLC ang pag-asa natin with MRP. Alright, next up is ano, um AGI. Just wait for the bounce kay PLC, okay? AGI naman it broke MA20, so that's a reversal right there. Fibonacci. Tingnan natin si Fibo ha. Right. Um Fibonacci retracements. Ang ginagawa ko kay Fibo talaga is last swing low. I consider this as the last swing low niya right here. Kasi nag-swing high siya and this is the lowest swing low niya. And then it's latest swing high. And right now it broke 0.618. So that is a reversal right there according to Fibonacci. So kahit na mag-retrace yan, most probably magda-dump trend yan. So let's wait muna kay AGI. We are on a downturn. We had a reversal kay AGI. So, iwas na muna kay AGI. Kahit na mag-bounce yan, most probably magda-downtrend na yan. So, yan. Iwas muna kay AGI. CEI. For CEI naman, yan. CEI, I had to cut my losses kay CEI dito. Pabagsak pa siya. We have a reversal kay CEI. So, let's wait for CEI to make an, uh, a much more solid support. So, maganda naman yung ano eh. Maganda naman yung linalabas na fundamentals ni CEI eh. Iniintay ko yung CEI na reversal. This is a good sign for CEI actually. So, maybe it's gonna bounce anytime soon. So, pwede yan. May magandang project si CEI eh. Oliver de Guzman, thank you for subscribing. One zombie for you too. Um, CEI Nickel. Uh, si CEI, kulang pa tayo ng details kaysa. Let's, let's see what will happen uh, sa last swing niya. Wala pa tayong reversal eh. So, konti ingat lang muna. CEI, but definitely the risk is getting smaller kay CEI. So, gumaganda na si CEI. Uh, nickel. Um, nickel Asia, yun, very solid um, downward movement. So, konti ingat lang muna kay Nickel. Uh, let's see if for future, ano, wag nyong sasaluin yan dyan, maka bumagsak pa, maging B-core din yan. So, konti ingat lang muna. Stay away from nickel for now. Let's let's wait for further uh, further information, further data before we can say if pwede nang pasukin or not. MBT naman, 
So MBT still broke MA20, but yeah, look at this right here. After this engulfing pattern, it's starting to stabilize and make a support right here. So hopefully if we have a confirmation bounce, we have a stabilization, that will be our entry point for MBT. But then again, that's a very solid support for MBT already. So yeah, we're expecting a bounce anytime soon. So konting ingat lang, um, wait for the confirmation before you want to get in MBT. Um, next up, MBT Globe. Not blow, globe. And si globe naman, we are at resistance right here. So we are, we're seeing resistance right here. I don't want you to get in anymore because nas, napakataas na niyan. Even, even though we're seeing an ascending right there, I don't want you to get in there kasi napakataas na niyan. So we have an ascending triangle right here. Actually, dito lang nagsisimula yung triangle. Eh. Yeah, that's a good sign. So if you want to get in kay globe, antay nyo lang yung breakout. Because I could be wrong. Pag nag-break out yan, meron pa tendency yung aakit yan. But the purpose of that is, if it, it breaks out, at pumasok ka, you have a base right here. And that is your basis for your cutting your losses. Uh, you can cut loss below that support. But right now, I think Globe is gonna go sideways already. So, I'm not sure I could be wrong. So, but napakataas na ni Globe as, as of the moment. Right? Plus, ang telco is nabubuhay na. Uh, Globe's uh, fair value is at around 2,200. So, we're reaching that resistance already. So, konting ingat lang muna. The best entry point was or for Globe was at this area right here. So, ang ganda ng climb ni Globe talaga. Okay, that was around 40% climb for how, for how many months? 2 months ba yun? So, that's a good uh, good job sa nakapasok kay Globe. Alright, next up. After Globe is... Asan ako? MAH. And MAH collapsed from its ano, support. Sadly, these things are out of our control. Uh, even though MAH showed us good numbers, maganda naman si MAH lately. Ne. Kaya nga nawala na sila sa suspension. Ne. Um, MAH lately has been very good, but kaso nga lang it broke its support. So, Ayun, ang dami siguro na ipit dito, right dito sa taas sa MAH. So hopefully walang na ipit, wala sa inyo na ipit diyan. Ganito mga positions we tested, I did recommend uh testing the uh what they call this, the support here kasi nagbounce tayo diyan. Kaso nga lang it collapsed. So we should have you should have cut the cut your loss here, cut it tuloy. You should have cut your losses here. Yan. And yun, um MAH iwas na muna tayo. So that's what happened to MAH. If ever Yan. Bollinger Band lessons natin. Ito. This is an engulfing right here. So, we bet on this support right here. And then, if ever it fails, just cut your loss. Ganun lang. MAH, asa na tayo? Especially on a bad market right now. So, ECP, bagsakan din. Kasi madidelay ang telco. This is what, hap what is happening to our telco right now. Si ECP, tsaka si NOW. Nagsibagsakan. Yan. Because of the bad news na madidelay na naman ang third telco. Yan. So, konting iwas na muna kung ayaw nyo maipit. Right, iwas na muna. Let's wait for it to stabilize if you still wanna bet sa mga telco. That's why I keep telling you guys na if you're gonna bet on the telco, wag mag all in kasi this is gambling. If you gamble your entire port at it trade nyo yung buong port nyo, you're, you're, you're gonna stand to lose your entire port. So, kung ayaw nyo mga wala ang port ninyo, protect majority of your port. Put it in blue chip and then only a small of portion of it should go for trading. Um, asin ako? ECP. Yan, si Tugs. Ang laki rin na bagsak ni Tugs kahapon. This was, this was, ano, this was, uh, this was something na we weren't expecting. It even broke the support in one day. Right? So, um, nagkabuhusan kay Tugs. I did cut my losses here. Buti na lang. This is why I always cut my losses. Right? That's why you always cut your losses. So, this was the support I was banking on. But when it broke the support, okay pa. But when it broke it, uh, it broke it reached my cut loss area. I already cut my losses. Why? Because this can happen, and it did happen. So ang sakit niyan, ang sakit ng bagsak na yan. So then again, Tugs is a good company, right? So if ever na ipit man kayo, um, pwede kayo makapag makaka recover kayo yan. Tugs might recover in time. So maganda naman yung mga acquisitions sa mga movements ni Tugs. Eh. Not really sure why this happened. I can blame it to the market. Nagkabuhusan lang. Panic selling yan. Naglalabasan ngayon mga investors. So, if you ever naipit man kayo, just buy more kay Tugs. Tugs is definitely a good company to get into. Next up kay Tugs is MPI. Time check is 9.16. I, I think I have to stop the program at 9.20. Right? Um, MPI, 
Um, so far, it's still on its uptrend line. But konting ingat lang, we are seeing, starting it's starting to form a head and shoulder pattern. So, konting ingat lang kay MPI, okay? Um, good job sa mga nakapasok dito. But yeah, I blame this on the red market. Overall, MPI is a very good company. Right? If ever babagsak man yan, dapat nakapag-sell half na kayo dito. On the other half, you can let it ride and then just buy more. Stay invested kay MPI. This is or uh, this is a long-term company. Right? Pwede nyo i-long-term yan. See MPI. Um, next up kay MPI is CEB. And CEB broke MA20. So, uh, traders, ingat. These are usually bad signs. So, maybe this is gonna go sideways muna or consolidate. So, iwas na muna tayo kay CEB. Um, let's wait for it to stabilize before we can say if pwede na natin pasukin or not yet. Um, PNB is at support. Sadly, umagsak din si PNB. Grabe talang effect ng inflation. Right, so it's at support. So let's just let's just wait for a bounce, right? But PNB is a very good company then. Uh very good numbers lately. Second quarter plus 174, first quarter plus 20. So those are very solid numbers for Philippine National Bank. Um kaso nga lang yun, inflation yun eh. You know, that's out of our control, inflation news yun. So um PNB look for look to be a what do you call this investor kay PNB pwede kayong mag-investor diyan just buy more if ever it goes further down if you're a trader cut loss below that support right there if ever um pumasok kay kay PNB Asa na ako? PNB ACR yeah si ACR So right now ACR is showing a solid support right here Right. Around this area, this is a very solid support kay ACR. Yeah, ACR is good to get into. Um, Kontingat lang nito. I, I, I think umakit si ACR ng ganito kasi may disclosure. I just can't remember. Yan, kaya hindi ko rin na-recommend na ano, si ACR kasi I don't know the ano. I don't know the... Uh, I don't know what caused this spike right here. Most probably technical analysis lang. So if you're into ACR, um, yeah, this is a solid support right here. Na-confirm ni ACR. So by as long as that support holds, if you wanna get in ACR, uh, saan ako? Ayan, CEB, ACR, TBGI. Ayan, TBGI, isa sa mga bumabagsak na stocks. Yeah, nagtatrigger sa Bollinger Band sa baba. So stay away for, for the meantime. Antayin lang natin yung reversal ni TBGI. Uh, the market is still down. So baka bumagsak, bumagsak yan. So, konti ingat kasi maglalabas ang mga tao dyan. Um, Wilcon, we already talked about that. Ito si IDC. IDC, yan. Uh, we don't have enough data right now except for this uh, sideways support right here. But I do usually don't use that because this is an uptrend stock. So, pag uptrend ay isang stock, pataas din yung support niya. So, <clears throat> usually if di at this moment na wala akong clear na uptrend line, I use the MA20. So, right now malayo pa siya sa support for me. So, I don't wanna get in IDC yet. But if you are a momentum trader, pwede nyo abangan ito. You can use this right here. And then pag nag-bounce yan, pwede nyo sakyan. But for me, as a position trader, dito ako nakaposisyon. Hindi dyan. <laughs> Ilang araw ko na yung recommend si IDC dito sa baba. Diba? So it took how many days? But when we won, grabe naman yung panalo natin. Um, asa na ako? Uh, IDC. VLL. Yan. We have a question about VLL. It's already 9.20. So, last three questions lang, guys. Uh, really sorry if I can't answer everyone. Uh, not feeling well. Biglang sumakit ang dibdib ko eh. Right. So, I hate these kind of feelings. It's really disturbing. Hindi ako makapag-concentrate. Uh, VLL. Uh, broke MA20. So, I think this is gonna do sideways. Bollinger Band is telling us na magsa-sideways siya. So, magsa-sideways pa talaga yan. So, and um stay away lang muna kay VLL we need more data we need a stabilization for your VLL before we can strongly commit kay ano um kay what they call this kay VLL oy discord exp, uh, expired na right, before we we close the ano let's go to discord and go to main invite people Edit invite link. No limit. It should be no limit. Never. Generate new link. Right. Try this description. Uh, try this. Hindi naman. Hindi naman. Yun pa rin yung ano niya. Yun pa rin yung. Uh, yun pa rin yung link ni Discord. Eh. So. It's still okay. Wala naman na bago. 
So yun yung Discord link. So just use that link so you can join the you, you can join the ano, you can join the chat room. Uh lastly, um asan ako? IDCBLL, WPI and NPXP. WPI and PXP lang last natin. Um WPI uh WPI when it broke MA20, this is why I don't like the stock breaking MA20. When it broke MA20, when nag sideways na, so it's doing sideways as of the moment. We need further details, de data, para malaman natin kung papasok na ba tayo kay WPI. But fundamentals wise, okay naman yung fundamentals na the waterfront, um, gumaganda naman. So, yeah. Uh, trading wise, hindi pa natin alam yung position, but in, as an investor, yes, you can buy that company. PXP, triggering the lower Bollinger Bands pa rin, so konti ingat muna kay PXP, pababa at pababa pa rin yan. Unless we find another news kay PXP na maganda, then that should propel P PXP again. So as of the moment, konti ingat muna kay PXP. Uh, and it's 9.22 guys, uh, pasensya na I have to cut the program early, but again, um, market is still shaky. Konti ingat lang muna sa stock market pa rin. Ngayon, hopefully the drama ends at makapag-recover na talaga tayo, right? Uh, so strategy kay PSEI, stay light on your feet. Stay light meaning wag masyado mag all in and you take your profits whatever you can. Take half of it at least, yung kalahati lang ibenta niyo. Let the other half ride. And so that's for PSEI. And yon. Today is a very special episode. It's about my bagger picks and for the fourth quarter, the last quarter of 2018. So definitely check these companies out. I want you to study these companies. Okay, mag depend lang sa uh, sa recommendation ko. Study the companies yourself so that you will have conviction in getting in these companies. So yun yung konti lang ang recommendations ko today. At least concentrated yung recommendations natin dyan and lesser chances of uh, execution mistakes. So that's it for today guys. It's 9.23. As always, let's get rich together. See you again tomorrow, same time, same place. Uh, those who want to join the workshop, please send me a message. I, I can give you the details uh, if you want to help the, uh, the channel in return. So please do that. Thanks again. Thanks. Thank you for the support. Have a great day. Bye-bye.